What's going on YouTube? This is Arctic Fox. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at another sadistic and horrible case. This time out of Lowell, Michigan, where a 43-year-old grandmother is accused of sexually assaulting her 3-year-old granddaughter in November. The woman was charged Tuesday, according to the Lowell Police Department in Michigan. The investigation began after Lowell Police received a tip from the Hillsdale Police Department about a sexual assault case involving someone that the grandmother, Heather Wallace, had met on a dating app, according to authorities. Specifically, she had contacted the Hillsdale Police about the man, reporting that he asked her to take photos of her granddaughter and sexually assaulted her. The grandmother said she did not comply with this request, according to police. However, through their own investigation, Lowell police determined that Heather Wallace, while caring for her granddaughter, indeed sexually assaulted the toddler during video chats with the man at her Hunt Street home, according to authorities. Heather Wallace has been charged with second-degree criminal sexual conduct, aggravated child sexually abusive activity, aggravated possession of child sexually abusive materials, and using a computer to commit a crime, which carries a minimum sentence of 20 years per the authorities. The aforementioned man who lives in Coldwater was also arrested and charged according to police. Anyone that has more information on this case is asked to contact the Lowell Police Department at 616 Eight nine seven seven one two three or Silent Observer at six one six seven seven four two three four five. In addition, anyone out there that is aware of sexual assault is encouraged to contact their local law enforcement. Guys, this is a prime thing of if you see something, say something. A great example of that. Um, this is terrifying, y'all. A grandmother did this to her three-year-old grandchild. The one place that you should feel safe is with your grandparents. And when these, these cases just bother the crap out of me, guys. What was this woman thinking? I mean, obviously she wasn't. Um, wow. Just completely disturbing, y'all. And I hope that she gets prison justice. I hope she gets put in general population and doesn't get put in solitary or anything like that. No, let this let this woman go into the general population and let them give her the justice that she deserves. Because it'll be far better than anything the courts hand out. They don't like child predators in prison. So let, let her just stay in general population. Uh, I did not see if there was any bond offered. Hopefully not. Uh, she needs to stay her fucking ass in jail. Um, but yeah, it's a disturbing case. And I hope she goes to jail for the rest of her damn life and never sees the light of day again. Probably won't happen because cases like this, they usually get a slap on the wrist and they're out in five years, unfortunate as it is. But we need to start cracking down a whole lot harder on them. Otherwise, we're going to continue to see them. Uh, but yeah, it's a very disturbing case out of Michigan, guys. I, my thoughts and prayers go out to that three-year-old little girl. I, I know she's going to need a lot of love and therapy to get through what she's been through. And I definitely hope that her grandmother never sees the light of day again. So that's the story out of Michigan, y'all. Uh, thank you so much, as always, for tuning in and watching. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Y'all, be kind to one another out there. And I will see you real soon in the next video.